Hello my friends, my name is Mohammed Naveed and in this lecture I am going to teach you how to create an 8 logic in MS Access. Means with the help of this you will be able to see your age. So in order to do this what we need to do we need to first definitely take a new database and definitely we have created a database. What I did first I went in file and then I click on new and definitely I, uh, I, I created uh, one uh, database. And after this, as you can see that now I have a table. So what I do, I will go in the design view with this table. So I will say right click and I will go in the design view. And here I have to give the name. I say table one is fine. And here I have to give the name to the, to the fields. The first will be date of birth. And definitely date of birth will be, if it, uh, you can say date and time, definitely date. And then current date. And current date will also be date and time. And the last, what do we have? We have age. Definitely, we will we will get the age, and the age will be number. And uh, one more thing, I want to tell you that, for example, if you say about uh, uh, current date, so definitely you will not update. You will not update the current date over and over. Means the current date. So in order to get the current date, means from the MS Access, what we need to do, we need to come in default value. And here we have this. We, what we do, we will click on it and we'll go in functions and uh, we'll go in built-in functions and here we have didn't uh, date and time and we say date and double click on it and as you can see that now uh, we have date function so what i do i simply click on ok and if i say save and if i close this and if i double click on it as you can see that now it is showing the current date means you no need to type you no need to type the current date it will come automatically getting me so today is 12 20 2016 getting me so with the help of this formula you no need to type current date get me you 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 you, you just need to tell uh, date of birth and di directly it will give you the age and if not, if you if you work here so it won't be good what we will do we will go in create and we will click on form and as you can see that now i am in form uh, i will go in the view and i will say the design view and definitely what design view is we definitely we will talk about it and we will go in design and here we have uh, you can say a button so what I do, I simply click on button and I will simply click and drag and as you can see that now I have a button. So definitely this button will calculate our age. So definitely here we can type whatever we want. So I just say click is fine for me and I will click on it definitely and I will go in event and I will click on this and I will say event procedure and I will say I will click on this uh, dotted button. And as I click on it, as you can see that now I am in uh, visual basic. So here what I say, I will say the age definitely age is equals to and whatever will come after equals to means it will come here getting me so age is equals to current date so definitely we'll control c for copy and we'll paste it here and we say minus current date minus date of birth control c control v for past and that divided by 365.5 and we say bracket And why do we have 365.5? Because as you know that in one year we have 365 days. Any and 0.5 is for February. You're getting me? Because February varies. Therefore, we have 0.5. And definitely, uh, what we will do? We will go again and we will go in the form view. And if I click on it, no error means fine. So here I have to type the date of birth. So for example, if I say 12, 20, and 2015, for example. And if I click on it, as you can see that now. Uh, now it's showing the age means it is one year old for example a child born on you can say a 12 20 2015 and today is 12 20 2016 so definitely one year so it's showing the correct what the one year getting me if you can type your date of birth and definitely it will give you definitely you no need to change uh, date, current date because uh, we have uh, put uh, you can say formula so we no need to explicitly tell the current date we just have to tell the date of birth and if we click on it and definitely it will give our age getting me so if i say here 12 30 1997 and as you can see they're showing that 19 years old getting me he's if let's suppose if someone born on uh, 1997 definitely so now he is 19 years old getting me so with the help of this you can we can get our age and if i go again uh, so definitely we should see the formula so definitely age, definitely age, if I go in the uh, design view, so definitely it's called age, age is equal to, means after equals to whatever we say that it will come here, definitely, 
current date minus date of birth so why do we have bracket because as you know that this is the uh, you can say uh, formula or this is the method in math that whatever will be inside of bracket it, it, it will execute first means if, if I don't use bracket and then if I go again and if I if I click on it so as you can see that now it, 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 is, not, it is not showing the current uh, you can say answer why because we remove bracket so the bracket means that first do it first then do next getting me so what we want we want that current date minus date of birth definitely it will be done first and then after divided by 365.5 because we have uh, 365 uh, days in a one year getting me so this is the way to get your age and i hope you have understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navidplace.com allah and i will meet you in the next till then allah